It's midwinter and we're back to fish the Twizzle Tekapol canals. It's cold, like frozen lake cold, but when it's chilly like this, the fishing heats up. I made the decision to target salmon and boy did they play ball this time. Solid fish on the tube, catching some beauties. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Everyone else, get it on that big screen and enjoy this week's winter escape. Yes. Twizel has been smashed with heavy rain and wind for a while now, but there was a break in the bad weather and the roads were open so off we went. Twizel in winter is something else. Fresh powdery snow covered mountains showing off the southern gem of the Mackenzie country. I wasn't planning on fishing the first day, but there were a couple of hours before the sun dropped away and I just couldn't help myself. I rocked up to Oho Way, and to my surprise, it wasn't a raging pool of white water. So I throw out a trout nugget on an egg rolling setup, and within minutes, a small salmon smells it out, and we've got him on. Let's had a trout nugget on, and we managed to pick up a nice little salmon. Just gonna give him some room to run, so I'm gonna have to get round the other side. The little dude's not even fighting, really. So, yeah. Nice easy little wander this way. It's actually the first time I've ever seen Ohoe not pumping like a washing machine. So we're just going to cruise this little guy around here. He did have a good fight at the start, but my GoPro just was n n not having it, eh? Just don't want to work for me. Okay. Oh, this rock's all covered in ice. I haven't seen daylight yet. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's slippery. They just come off. Oh no, maybe. Might still be there. Or is he taking me in the rocks? Oh no, still there. Oh, all of these rocks are covered in ice. It's so slippery right now. I also don't want to bruise them up. So I just want to let this guy go. There's a niggly place to land fish. This guy really has given up. Look at that. These fish are really, really delicate. So you've got to take care. And wet hands first. Hey buddy. Off you go. I'm definitely more of an active angler than a sit around and chuck out a bait. So I boosted up to the Tikapal Canal and there was no flow, so I started flicking around a black and gold Shimano wax wing. A couple of casts in and a good fish smokes my little lure and it's all go. Good fish, absolutely smoking, mate. Dude, I don't even have a net on me. Oh, I just hope he's hooked well. Finally got six pound on. Trying to be stealthy. <laughs> so it's a six pound braid here, so we don't want to nick any of these little rocks. Don't you come off. Ooh. Oh, he's coming up. He's going to jump. Oh, don't you go to that cage. Trying 
steer him back the other way. Look at that, just as the sun's going down. Sometimes when you're fishing the canals, the fish will go off the bite pretty much all day, but as soon as there's that little change of light, they'll come on to feed. It's a good fish, man. It's a real good fish. Big, powerful tail stroke. Come on. Oh, he's going to run for that cage. Oh, this is a battle on the light gear, man. Oh, the great thing about a situation like this is there's no sharks that are going to come take you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. He is not done yet. Ooh. We've had a couple splashes, but still haven't seen what he is. Dude, this is a solid fish. He's giving me nothing right now. Might even get a look at him here. Oh, he's a beauty. Oh, where's my net? All right, guys, so this smoked the, just a little wax and wing law. Literally after a couple casts, so I gave egg rolling crap. There wasn't much flow at the time, so I swapped to this, the few casts, and this guy just came up and smoked it. Oh, yeah, it's good fish. Winter fishing in twice away. Eh? How good. Oh, no, you don't. Yay! You beauty! How good, guys. Oh, look at the size of him. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. That is one stunning looking salmon. And there you go. There's the law. Just a little Shimano waxwing. What a stunning fish. All right, I think he is reserved for the smoker. Absolute stunner of a fish. How good is that? Woo -hoo -hoo. Fresh out the drink. How good. It was on a wax and wing black and gold war. How awesome is that? Probably sitting around that. Oh, geez, I don't even know. Maybe about eight, nine pound. But yeah, quality, quality fish. Winter in Twizel was cold, like really cold, it's minus 5 degrees overnight and check out all the ice that is forming everywhere. This is a frozen lake right now, that's how cold it is. I don't usually get the opportunity to check something like this out, so of course I was going to push the boundaries. I decide to come back on the thinner ice and I hear a crack. In context right now I can see straight through the ice and it's well over my head so I've got to get to that shore quick. <gasps> Unlike a lot of places the fishing heats up when it's cold here so let's get back to it. I hunt with a 21 gram Daiwa Crusader lure. I cast well upstream to get as close to the salmon farm as I can and then I let it sink all the way down to the bottom, trying to allow it to drift underneath the cages where the fish are holding. Now change the retrieve and watch for that bite. Fish on. And a couple casts in. Oh, there we go. 
Yes, boy. We're getting some pretty good flow right now, though, so this is going to be an interesting one. This time we're using the Okuma Nano Matrix. And it's six pound line still. Except this time we've got 12 pound fluoro on that. Oh, it's gonna have a little run again. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yay! <laughs> Oh man, that is epic. Look at that real screen. Just gotta tire this guy out. Feels like another beautiful fish. Again, we've got wires down that left hand side that you can see. Um, so ideally, we don't want him to get to that. But we also don't want to break him off in this strong current. Yes, boy. <laughs> you always want to keep that tension on. As soon as you lose it, it's away. Oh, hopped beautifully. Oh, he's a hunk. He's seeing me now, he does not want to come in. This is when you've got to have faith in the, all your little knots. <laughs> Jeez, it's a lot of flow right now. Really racing. Can't really tell here, but closer to the cages. You now you get stuck in that, it's hard to turn out of it. Right, there I'm turning my rod just to try and steer his head. He's still fighting with me. But I think it's we're getting close. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's a monster. He's proper big. <laughs> Yahoo! Right. Holy smokes, guys. That is one crazy fish. I am absolutely stoked with that. Barely fits in the net. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave him in the water. He's still got water flowing over him. He can still breathe. There you go guys, the result. There you go, I'll get in the sunlight. There's a law, I've said it before and I'll say it again, the Chinook Crusader laws are insane. That's a blue and silver one. We're gonna drop real deep and go, what a stunning, stunning specimen of the south. There you go, the canal backdrop. That is awesome. Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> Winter fishing the canals. Righto team, here down at the canals. Beautiful weather, winter time, snow on the mountains. And we're pulling in fish like this. That is sensational. This guy's sitting over the 10 pound mark. Heaps of weight, massive belly. And what a sensational, sensational fish. That is absolutely incredible. <laughs> How bloody good. It was on a crusader lore again, whacking those blue and silver colors at the moment. Absolutely stoked with that one. So same thing, get that lore as close to the salmon cage as you can, upstream. Let it sink all the way down to the bottom, drift it under those cages. Because remember, those fish are only going to be in the bottom section of the water column. Here I'm just mending the line so the lure can sink faster and have less drag when I go to retrieve.
Rod pointing down and to the side and keep your eyes on that tip for bite. You're most likely to succeed when you've got it in front of their faces. You're changing the laws. Depending on the day, they might not always eat the same thing. And you're always changing up that retrieve. Oh, hit and a miss. And bang, got Little him. One. Unless he hasn't woken up yet. Yeah. Here we go, coming up. Glimpse of them. Oh no, it's decent. Yeah man, as soon as they get to that middle bit, eh? Probably a maybe seven or eight pounder. Beauty. Oh. That's <laughs> <laughs> so fast. Oh yeah, he's running. Time that drag just touch. Let's hope he's up well. Feels like a very good fish. Shit. He is fully running in that car. Oh, very good fish. And that current's strong as well. Oh, big heat jacks. Powerful tail kicks, man. Oh. Oh, he's a beauty. Oh, he's a hunk of a fish. Fuck it, that. He's going for the rocks. What? Don't
Look at the size of them. I actually can't see how this fish is hooked. It's, um, looks like it's on the other side of the mouth, the far side. Just gotta be very careful with the six pound braid. I missed this football with the net. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it might help actually. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit tired now, so should be able to get him in. Beautiful, thank you. Outstanding. Cheers. That's a goodie. He's a hunk, eh? That's another stunner of a fish. Absolute beauty. Get that ear back. What a beautiful bite. So we're just poking his nose upstream. That lets all the oxygen get back into his gills. And then hopefully he'll just kick away. That's it buddy. Re oxygen. The guy's cooking. That's it, bud. I think this is going to be a good one. He's barely even acting like it's hooked. Felt like a snag at the start. Now it's just a slow roll. So I've got to get away from those goddamn wires. And eventually my GoPro decided it was done filming for the day. Someone offered to net my fish, but she wasn't ready to come in yet. Okay. So I oh, chucked him my phone instead, Be and soon. all of a sudden I Be had soon. a cameraman. <laughs> Feels like, like a really good one. He doesn't feel like he's, um, I don't think he knows he's been hooked. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, it was just that powerful. Yep, like, yep. Felt like a snag. I think so, yeah. yeah. Nearly good size. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's all pretty good sized fish at the moment, eh? Hey? Yeah. You saw the net, I think. You didn't want yeah. to come in. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yep. Again on a crusader law. Oh, fish <laughs> jumping over there, too. It's all on. Maybe the partner. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, hang on. Yep, lovely. Thank you, brother. No worry. I'll help you get this up. Woo, lovely. There you go. Yeah, a good fish. Beautiful, beautiful yeah, salmon. Beautiful, yeah. Looking good. good. Yeah, looking good. Good yeah. size. Great. Nice fish. Beautiful silver fish. It'd actually be a yeah. really good eating fish. So we're going to chuck this guy back. Ooh, another piece on. Yeah. I've managed to hire a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> good. Good piece on. Yeah, another goodie. No, it's so nice, eh? Snowy mountains, yeah. sun setting, fish yeah. riding. Yeah. I'm going to 
it's been a work of day of it today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good fish, nearly. It's another one, probably the same size. <laughs> hmm. Big fish. He's still not quite ready, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I might be able to get him in here. <coughs> nearly. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, good. Beautiful. Lovely. Thank you very much. No. Quick pick with this chunky guy before sending him home. All round was a phenomenal trip, meeting some great people along the way. With eight fish to the bank and losing more along the way, it was a very successful trip. Two big salmon came home with me to feed the flatties, and one is getting couriered to me from the Rata Smokehouse. Going to be plenty of big grins around the dinner table. Twizel, you have outdone yourself again. The cold was well worth it. This is going to be a trip to remember. Just a heads up, my old Instagram was hacked and I've heard some spammy messages are coming from it. Please report and keep up to date at Flynn's Fishing Adventures FFA. Thanks for watching everybody, get out there and enjoy the outdoors. Till next time, tight lines.